over there at Marvel Comics. Kew, kew, kew. Video game news. Video game. game news is back, Trent. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, especially after that intro. <laughs> yeah, I know that's what gets you going. Um, how about this? Uh, I know you know you probably know of the uh, John Madden video game, Trent. Uh, oh, of course. NFL football, and every year you get the Madden curse, right? Whoever's on the cover of the Madden video game, well, bad things usually happen for them. It's uh, it, it doesn't turn out to be a good season. Well, this year, Trent, a player will not be on the cover of Madden 23. Oh, really? This year, legendary football coach and broadcaster John Madden will appear on the cover of Madden NFL 23. Wow, the late, great John Madden. Yeah, uh, and, and that's the it, pretty amazing to think, but that's uh, the first time on the cover since 2000. So it's been 22 years since John Madden has been on the cover. So uh, just a couple of, a little bit of background uh, on this. And we all know John Madden, big time uh, uh, NFL broadcaster, one time uh, a head coach of the Raiders. And he led that team to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl eleven victory. Um, the game first launched as uh, John Madden football in 1988. Madden NFL series established itself as uh, the preeminent football video game and one of the most successful video game franchises ever. Uh, EA reportedly paid Madden $150 million in 2005 to use his name and likeness uh, forever. 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 Uh, they sold a reported 130 million copies of the Madden games, raking in $4 billion in revenue over its history. Um, and yes, I play Madden and I love it. And over the years, there were so many different uh, football games. There was Tecmo Bowl. There was uh, Joe Montana football. There was 2K football um, and over the years. And, and amazing enough, uh, at this point in time, only one still standing, uh, John Madden football. Oh, hey, Trip, are you, you like this? You want this? This is a good girl? I don't. Oh, bye-bye. She doesn't like this. You're shy today, Freya? <laughs> Are you shy? You want to say something to the audience? She doesn't want to say anything. Freya, talk. Yeah, she's not feeling it. She's Because she's chewing on, on some jerky right now. So she doesn't oh, okay. talk when she's chewing on Here you go, girl. This is your good girl. This is my good girl. This is your good girl. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but... Oh, I did. And yeah, she, she said a little bit. She said a little bit for us. So Yeah, um, she, she's a little tired. Yeah, she's tired of hearing me talk that's that's what it seems like um june's biggest games the query I'm, I'm super excited uh this is basically a mix between uh, until dawn and heavy rain a video game that is more movie than video game uh you know and and i i i used to i thought that there would be more games like this to come out since heavy rain um which again it's really more of an interactive movie than a video game uh, but they didn't really catch on the way you would think um, until dawn was a was basically a horror movie you controlled I forget how many characters it was but basically all of them could survive uh, or all of them could die by the end of the game and and choices and decisions you made you know basically make your own story type of game uh, affect how the story goes and there's usually like you know whatever 10 different endings the 10 different ways the game could go Um so same thing with the query. Um, it's basically nine different characters and the same idea. Um, oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, and I'm super excited about it. They're saying it's Until Dawn meets Friday the 13th. Um, Heavy Rain, which is, was a similar type of game, you controlled three different characters investigating a murder mystery. Um, and one of the coolest things I ever did in a video game happened in that game. Um, I was locked in an apartment and the uh, building was going to explode and I didn't know what to do. You know, you look outside the window, the jumps too far, even some ridiculous things like my character hit under the table and I'm like, well, the building's going to explode. That's not going to help anything. Um, and then I remembered Indiana Jones four. I was like, well, Indy survived a nuclear explosion in a, in a refrigerator 
So sure enough, I open the fridge, I empty it out, and I hide in the fridge. The building explodes, and I survive. So that was pretty hilarious. And I ended up uh, solving the mystery with that character. I didn't get it done with the other two, so it was very important that I survived with that character. And it, I don't know, those make-your-own-choice games, uh, the games where you really can die, where you have multiple characters, and uh, each decision you make uh, really... And that that's it. That's a final at MSG 6-2 Rangers. Yeah, every decision that you make uh, affects how the game goes. I, I really dig games like that. I wish they made more of them, uh, but that's coming out there um, in June for a PlayStation. As a matter of fact, I can't wait. I believe it's June 9th that that's coming out. How about this? A Need for Speed. There's like a Need for Speed club, uh, Trent, in the U.K., where these kids oh, yeah? are basically uh, um, they're crashing Audis and and these supercars into police cars and high speed chases and all this nonsense is happening because of video games. Um, the initial findings of the ongoing investigation point to British youngsters, uh, wealthy British youngsters forming part of a group of youths that try to emulate real-life scenes in video games, well-known car racing video games. Uh, and the exact quote from the police department is, they're wealthy lads who place bets on these illegal competitions that consist of trying to escape the police while carrying out dangerous maneuvers, like driving <laughs> through pedestrian areas or going through the wrong way at high speed up main roads. That's the quote, Trent. I hope that was well, I like uh, that. satisfactory to you. Um, yeah, but uh, a lot of different incidents. This is a club of rich kids. Um, and by the way, an Audi RS6 can do zero, zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. So that's a pretty fast car. And they're playing with people's lives, man. It's not right. It's not right. It's like uh, they, they mentioned need for speed. But it's to me, it's almost like uh, Grand Theft Auto. You know, it's uh, hey, let's go out there and and hit people or, or do something terrible. It just sounds no, dangerous do and wrong, Trent. It sounds dangerous and wrong. Yeah, we we don't need to hit people. No, no. Well, sometimes we need to hit people, but not with a car. No, you don't, you don't need to hit people with a car. It's, uh, if, you, if you need to hit uh, if you need to hit somebody, do it like a real man. Yeah, it, it, with a pillow and love. <laughs> Like a real man. <laughs> real man. That's how real men get it done with pillow fights. How That's right. That? Yeah. Just don't ask the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning and the Rangers on the ice how they got it done. Yeah, that wasn't a pillow fight. That was real anger. Was that was real man to man. That was that was just flat out anger. <laughs> it was uh, it was not cool, man. I don't think that was cool. You know. I don't either. <laughs> But, you know, that's hockey sometimes. Uh, it, you know, some can argue, Trent, that maybe that was the lightning sending a message at the end of the of the game. You know, like, oh, we're going to be back here in game two. No, oh, absolutely. You can't, you can't play around with the lightning. Speaking of uh, the lightning and 